All my life, I've felt helpless, cheated, stepped on. I was always the little man, the square peg, the forgotten one. But that night, everything was gonna change. I was tired of just sitting around, accepting my fate. A rat hole apartment, a dead end job. So I decided to do something about it. Destination untrackable. The stolen cash untraceable. I'd simply disappear into the night. But of course there was a hitch, a fly in the ointment, or should I say roach? change of clothes. I was no longer the victim. This time, I was in control. By sunrise, I'd be on a plane in Mexico. With a big smile on my face, and a small fortune nestled at my feet. If it wasn't for my idiot landlord, I'd be there right now, sipping margaritas and basking in the warm glow of a job well done. Who is it? Who do you think it is, sweetheart? Your fairy godmother? Open up, Sam. I know you're in there. You got some nerve coming up here at this hour, Eddie. Where's my freaking rent, Sam's? You'll get the rent in the morning. Your rent's three days late. I'll take it now. Down. Don't push me, old man. I said you'll get it in the morning. Looks like you're packing up for a trip. You skipping out on me? Yeah, I'm skipping out. Look, if I pay you now... Will you get the hell out of here and leave me alone? Sure, sweetheart. Sure, I'll leave you alone. All right. Now go back downstairs to that roach-infested hovel you call a room. And don't bother me again. It's an awful lot of money to have laying around in this neighborhood. And your door's open. Maybe next time you might want to lock it, huh? <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's a good one, that's good advice, Eddie. Crazy happened when I looked at that necklace. That strange locket that was supposed to be my mother's. A weird feeling, like a twisted spell. Bad mojo. My brain reeled. My knees buckled, and then there was black. The warm and somehow comforting feeling of darkness. A long and perilous detour 
into the night of my soul.